What's up, everybody? So I wanted to talk about um, my experience the past couple of weeks with using Wix, of all things, which is super surprising because typically I actually hate these um, content management system things. Like uh, I had a stint where I did a lot of work with like WordPress and Elementor. And don't get me wrong. Page builders are cool. Page builders are great. Um Big ups to uh, certain services like uh, like Webflow, for example, they're killing it with um, very like good semantic markup, but still being um, at its core, you know, kind of like a visual uh, coding, you know, drag and drop type thing. But um, Wix, they're really carving out um, a unique lane, I would say, for entrepreneurs and, and small business owners specifically because they peel back a lot of the technicality and instead it seems like Wix is trying to corner the market and where they see a hole, which um, from my understanding of using the platform and my experiences with using CMSs, I would say that what Wix is trying to do is give you an experience that feels like um, a mesh of the the open sourceness of WordPress. So all those plugins that are available from different devs, um, all those different uh, tools that you'll need are kind of like centralized uh, right inside of Wix's website builder or website editor, I guess they're calling it. And what I thought was cool about Wix was basically I was just helping a client out with their booking services. So all I was supposed to do was go into the website and really just design mostly like some nice forms. Um, and I discovered along the way that Wix is a great uh, tool for a business owner, period. So I wouldn't say Wix is great if, for example, you're product driven. You only want to sell T-shirts or your drop shipping stuff or, you know, maybe you're hand making things and um, you just need a storefront. I would say Wix is great if you're really you're really needing a content management system for your business as a whole. You know, you need um, scheduling, for example. You may need a, a calendar that everyone can see in the company. Um, you may need to sell some things like here and there. But overall, you need something that will work for your entire business and not something that will solve um, any specific problem in general. Like, okay, all I need to do is just sell a T-shirt or all I need to do is – you know, figure out shipping. There, there, there are better tools for, you know, the more specific needs that you may have. But overall, I would say if you're not experienced with web development or web design, then I really start considering Wix as a choice. And I can also say that I'm starting to see why people are gravitating towards it more because, I mean, they're flooding YouTube with ads. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm seeing people... People hop on things like Wix that I guess before would have just hopped on something like a Weebly or, you know, something that was that was cheaper and seemed simpler, but actually wasn't. So let's talk about some of the, the pros of Wix overall. One of the biggest pros is uh, simply what I was bringing up before, which is that you can do booking, you can sell things, you can link payments, you can... Um, Give people, uh, you know, like staff accounts. Um, you get all of these uh, different widgets and integrations that work natively with Wix. So you don't actually have to go out and look for, you know, oh, what's the best plugin to serve WebP images? Or, you know, if you're, if you're already thinking at that level, you should probably already be on WordPress. But in Wix case, if you're saying, well, you know, we actually need to sell things and we want to actually, you know, sell a course alongside that. Um, and we just want to let people, you know, pay up, uh, pay one by one and things like that. Wix is a great choice for that. So if if you're in a business or if you're in a mindset where, you know, of course, you always have like your core offering, but you're always looking to I'm not sure if they say that's going vertically or laterally, but. Basically, you know, go vertical, go up when you can, and also expand your business. And, and, and 
you know, like analogous ways when you can. I think Wix is a is a great choice for that because in the past I've just seen people try to set up Shopify accounts or end up with GoDaddy subscriptions that are hosted on like custom Linux servers. So people don't even know how to actually get to the WordPress site that is nested under their GoDaddy plan that they've paid up front for, you know, for a year or two or three years sometimes. Like I've seen, I've seen these things happen. Um, And I've ultimately had to like end up walking away from jobs because what the client was coming in with, it was just too much work to even get it to a basic point of where like we could both understand how it worked and, and I could work together with them. You know, there's certain setups, like sometimes WordPress is too complex for that. It's like, yes, I can do everything you need, but I'll basically be leaving you with something that is, you know, if you feel, you know, at least the client will feel like if I touch anything, I might break everything. Um, and sometimes that's how it can feel when I've built a page with Elementor and the client doesn't know how to use Elementor or, um, you know, they say they have Weebly and, you know, don't get me wrong. Back in the day, Weebly was the shit. I'm sure any marketer, you know, would would tell you that it was pretty cool for what it was at the time. But these days it's more trouble than what it's worth. <laughs> so I think Wix is, is bridging the gap. Um, which is always necessary, you know, bridging the gap between someone like me that is a developer and designer, and it's bridging the gap between me and someone that's just starting their business and just needs a centralized um, location to do things, to do everything from, you know, managing invoices and quotes to booking to, um, you know, managing the company's schedule. All of those things can be managed um, with Wix, with a single plan for the most part um, that isn't that expensive. And I I really think that uh, even for ideas that I'm having now, I'm just thinking to myself like, man, I could totally just use Wix and they're diligently working on other things like Editor X, which is probably more of a web flow competitor. And then they also had something else that I didn't use that would have allowed me to have a bit more, um, I'm guessing more control over the elements that were used, hopefully more control over the the specific like markup that would be used for each element. I didn't dig into it too much, but I thought it was cool that it was there so that, you know, I could come in and use a bit more of my, my coding expertise to help a client out, even within Wix. Um, I always just think stuff like that is pretty cool. So, yeah, if you are interested in in starting a business and you needed a platform that can literally do as much as possible under one plan, I would definitely check out Wix. This is not a a sponsored post or anything, but it's just something cool that I found out. And I wanted to, to really speak out and clarify my perspective on Wix because before, you know, the project that I just worked on, I would have probably told you that Wix was a waste of your time and that, you know, you should use something that was more straightforward or someone that something that was more newer and shiny, like a a web flow, for example. But yeah, if you've used Wix, feel free to share your stories or feel free to share your stories with what else you're using right now. How is it? I'd love to know. Take care.